Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Melissa and I like to do videos on luxury, fashion, and beauty. So if that is your thing, then please consider subscribing. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button down below. Now, I feel the need to confess to you guys that this is my second time filming this video. Unfortunately, half of my footage didn't save. I'm not sure what happened or why, maybe I ran out of memory, but here we go. Second go around makes it just that much better. Before I get into the video, I do want to quickly show you guys a little something. So as you guys can see, I have a Gucci box here and this is a gift from my husband. So I have no idea what's inside of here. This is a birthday gift. He got it for me for my 33rd birthday. I'm going to be 33 years old in just um, less than two weeks from now. So I'm super excited to open this up and share it with you guys, but that will be in a future video. I just wanted to do a little sneak peek. If any of you guys have any guesses as to what's in this little box, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think that my husband got me. Okay, so we are going to get right into it. I am gonna go in order from my first favorite fall bag all the way to my fifth favorite fall bag. I do have other bags that I wear in fall. I don't only have five, but these are my top five. So my very first top, top one fall bag is my YSL college bag in the opium red. Now the reason why this is a fall bag for me is because of the color. I have seen the, uh, the YSL college bag in lots of different colors, which are great for spring and summer, but the opium red in my personal opinion is great for fall. I love it with colors like I am wearing today. I think it looks really, really cute. I love the opium red. I feel like it has just a little bit of an edgy side to this color which you all know I love a little bit of edge to every single one of my outfits. I love the brush, uh, brush gold or antique gold hardware. I think it is absolutely stunning. This bag can be worn top handle. It can be worn long shoulder or cross body. I prefer to wear it cross body. That is my favorite way to wear it. Um, normally I am not a crossbody lady, but for me and the way that this one fits and the where it hits on my body, crossbody is what is perfect for me. It does have a back pocket, which holds my phone, which is lovely because this bag is small. It does hold all of my essentials. It's not a mini bag by any means, but it doesn't hold a ton of stuff. So the fact that it has a back pocket frees up some of the room inside to carry more stuff in there if you need to. This is a great everyday size bag for me and I absolutely love it. Top fall handbag, hands down for me. My next favorite fall handbag, my second favorite fall handbag is my Louis Vuitton Vavine PM. If you guys have been watching my channel, then you know that this is my very first ever luxury bag. My husband did get this for me as a one year wedding anniversary and I couldn't have chosen a better bag. This bag fits everything you need, plus more. You can fit a water bottle in here very easily, plus all of your essentials. It is a magnetic closure. I like to put my phone right in here and then all of my other stuff in the big pocket in the back there. It does not have an adjustable strap, but you can wear it short shoulder, long shoulder, or cross body. My favorite way to wear this bag is short shoulder. I particularly love this bag with creams. I think it's so beautiful with creams. Green, like the color I'm wearing right here. I don't love it with the warm browns. I feel like it clashes, but with the green, I love it. And burgundies. So it's my favorite way to wear this bag or black. And then I like to wear it short shoulder. I think that works best for me, but you can wear it cross body and long shoulder as well. So here it is cross body. And then let's see, I'll show you guys long shoulder as well. So as you guys can see, it is, hopefully you guys can see, it is very long, long shoulder. If you can't see it, I will put a clip in the mirror for you guys. Um, so it's very long, long shoulder, but this bag is absolutely stunning in the winter months with all those rich, delicious fall colors. All right, my third favorite fall bag, and I have to be honest with you guys, I was torn between having this one as my second favorite or the Valvine PM as my second favorite. This bag is absolutely stunning. The only reason why the Valvine PM won the second favorite is because I've never actually used this in fall because I didn't buy it last fall. I didn't have it yet, but I do predict that I will wear this bag a ton this coming up fall. 
I love the size of it. I love the fact that it is in the size large. I usually go for the medium size bags, but this one for me is a great, even though it's a size large, I feel like it still kind of fits in that medium size bag. I like the top handle. If you're dressed up, you definitely can wear it that way. Mine has a turn lock closure. Then you open it up and it's got the beautiful suede interior. And then it's got the leather strap. So this one, the leather strap, you can actually, um, or this bag you can buy with a chain strap if you prefer the chain strap. I wanted the leather strap because my other Valentino bag has a chain strap and I wanted the bags to be as different from each other as possible. I really don't like to repeat bags. So I like to wear this bag either crossbody or long shoulder. It fits both ways very comfortably and because of the thicker strap, it is very comfortable on your shoulder. I have mentioned before that this bag is just a little bit heavy, but honestly, it's not a deal breaker for me. I absolutely love it and the heaviness is because of the suede interior and the leather exterior plus all of this hardware. So for me, it is definitely worth it. My fourth, my fourth favorite luxury bag for fall is my YSL Small Lulu bag. I love the vintage Blanc white. I am the type of person where I don't like my bags to kind of blend in with my outfit. I don't even really want them to go with my outfit. I like it to really pop and stand out. And I wear a lot of black and gray in the winter months. So this white is going to pop off of those blacks and grays beautifully. I haven't had this during the winter months, so I don't know exactly how much I'm going to grab it, but I have a feeling it's going to be a lot. I love the silver hardware. I love the gray undertone to the white. It has a roomy inside with a magnetic closure. Again, it has silver hardware. This one you can wear doubled up on your shoulder or crossbody. I actually like to wear this bag both ways, more so on my shoulder. I am a shoulder bag lady, but um, I, I do like to wear it crossbody as well. So let me show you guys what it looks like crossbody. Here it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then of course you can wear it short shoulder. It is a very comfortable fit short shoulder. Oops, I tangled up my strap. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so here it is on your shoulder. It fits very comfortably. As you can see, my elbow is not in the way of my elbow. When I put my arm down, it kind of just slides back, which makes it very, very comfortable in my opinion. This bag also reminds me of those fluffy jackets. What are they called? The fluffy, the puffy, what are they called, guys? I forget what it's called. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about down in the comments below, but those super puffy jackets that aren't super flattering, that's what this bag reminds me of, but this bag is very flattering. It's beautiful in my opinion. So this bag is beautiful for, for fall and I cannot wait to bring it out. All right, my fifth favorite fall bag. You guys are probably gonna be surprised that this one is so low on my list. And the only reason why it is so low on my list is because I wore this bag a lot last fall. This was my go-to bag. I absolutely loved it. This bag you can wear top handle. You can wear it doubled up on your shoulder, cross body, or long shoulder. It has the same turn, up, turn lock closure like the other Valentino bag had. It's got the suede interior. This bag does fit all of your essentials but not much more. So it's not gonna fit a ton inside of there. Um, I do have videos on all of these bags and we'll link a few of them down below for you guys. So check those out if you guys haven't seen them yet. But um, I go over pros and cons and stuff like that on all of these bags in those videos. So this particular bag, I actually ordered a guitar strap to match with it. I love to wear this bag with, hear me out, envision it, envision it. Okay, so we got a good fitting pair of jeans skin tight suction, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. And then you've got a plain t-shirt or a band tee on, then a biker jacket of some sort or a jean denim jacket. And then you have this bag on with the thicker guitar strap across your chest, which pretty much makes the whole outfit. And then you can dress it down with a pair of Converse or you can dress it up with a pair of heels. My favorite go-to look when it comes to this bag. I absolutely love that. But I am more excited to use the other bags I have mentioned during this fall 
um, fall break, like we're in school, during this fall uh, season because I did get to use this one so much last year, but I still absolutely love it. So here it is on my shoulder. And then I will show you guys cross body. And then of course you can carry a top handle as well, which is really cute. All right guys, that was my top five fall bags that I am really excited to bring out this fall season. Let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite fall bag of last season? And what do you think is going to be your favorite fall bag of this season? I am so eager to know. Let's get some conversations going down in that, in that um, comment box down below. I thank you guys. I thank you for your patience. Hopefully this second video came out good. My pants are a little baggy. They keep falling down. I have to keep retucking my shirt in because I've worn these pants all day, but that's okay. It is what it is. I had fun filming this video for you guys and I hope you had fun watching it. Until next time. Bye guys.